Good, nice high definition. OK, so let's go through this problem. On this one, for this problem, I ask you to find all intercepts, right? And I ask you to find all the x and y intercepts. So Jacob, what you're going to want to do, um, can we all come in agreement, ladies and gentlemen, when I ask you to do this on your quiz, because you have your four answers or your four problems, when I ask you to do this, can we all come in agreement to find the vertical asymptote first? OK, let's all do that. So the vertical asymptote, I'm just going to represent with v. The vertical asymptote, remember, is going to be all the values of your all the values of your variable that make your denominator equal to 0. Because remember, we can't divide to 0. OK, Marco? And so since we can't divide by 0, we need to find the values that are going to make our denominator 0. So what I do is I take my denominator, say x squared plus 9 equals 0. Now I solve for x. Subtract 9 on both sides. x squared equals negative 9. Square root, square root. x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 9. We understand, though, that square root of negative 9, remember that we had the principal square root property. We're going to take out the negative. That means we're going to have i. Remember, i is going to represent imaginary numbers. So do we have a real x-intercept that we could graph? No. no. So for vertical, I'm sorry, not x-intercept. For, verti for an asymptote, we don't have any. So we're just going to say. None. So there are no vertical asymptotes for this problem. Now, the next thing is let's look at horizontal asymptotes. So the horizontal asymptotes, ladies and gentlemen, there's a test. It's called the horizontal asymptote test. And what we do for the horizontal asymptote test is we take a look at the exponents, or the degrees of your two polynomials. Right? Remember, a rational function the rational functions that we're going to be dealing with in this class is one polynomial over another polynomial. Polynomials all have a degree. And the degree, remember, is your largest exponent of your variable. So what we look at, n is going to be the exponent of my numerator. M is going, I'm sorry, n will be the degree, which will be the largest exponent, the degree of my polynomial in the numerator. And m is going to be the degree of my polynomial in the denominator. So if n is less than m, we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. If n is equal to m, we have a horizontal asymptote of the leading coefficients of your numerator divided by your denominator. And if n is greater than m, we have a horizontal asymptote at nothing. We do not have a horizontal asymptote. So we look at here, and we look at our degrees. The degrees for both polynomials is 2. So therefore, we're going to be dealing with this situation, right? So therefore, my horizontal asymptote is you take your leading coefficients of 1 and 1, and you divide them. Okay, So my horizontal asymptote is equal to y equals 1. Follow me so far. We good? OK. So that's to find the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes. Now I'm going to. Erase this because the next thing we need to do is the next thing I ask you to is find the x and y intercepts. So there's two other terms for this. x and y intercepts. To find the x intercept is when y or your f of x equals 0. And your y intercept is when x equals 0. So x intercept is when your output value equals 0. So we just put a 0 in for that. And we get x squared over x squared plus 9. In contrary, the y-intercept is when x equals 0, so it looks like this. f of x equals 0 squared over 0 squared plus 9. All right. So now we just need to evaluate. Remember, how do we get rid of a denominator when we have a fraction? Michael, we multiply by x squared plus 9. Therefore, we get 0 equals x squared. Take the root, x equals 0. Cool? So therefore, we can say the x-intercept is equal to 0. And then I asked for the y-intercept. Well, we evaluate 0 over 9, 0. Okay, And that's all I asked for that one problem, right? x-intercepts and, and ver vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So again, your vertical asymptote was none, because we had to take the square root of a negative number. Horizontal asymptote was the ratio of your leading coefficients, which was 1. And then our x-intercept was at 0. And my y-intercept, or my um, y-intercept, or the f of x-intercept, is going to equal 0. Any questions on what I did? Nope. 
You guys are going to do this for every single problem. Um, if I said, if, listen, if I have 3 equals 1 fourth x, right, how do I get rid of the 1 fourth? You multiply it by what? 4. Because what happens? The 4 divided by 4 gives you 1. And you're just left with x equals 4 times 3, right? Same thing. Whatever's on the denominator, what's x squared plus 9 divided by x squared plus 9? 1. So it just goes down to 1, so we're just left with the x squared. OK, so whenever you have something on the denominator, that's what you want to multiply by. Okay, And just make sure you do it on both sides. Cool?